Top 5 Isekai Anime with Op MC Number 5, Isekai Cheat Magician Tai Chi was summoned to another world because of the massive magic power that resides within him, together with his best friend, Rin. Tai Chi, the MC in this Isekai anime, is very op in terms of the amount of his mana. However, he doesn't know how to properly use it, and something drastic has to happen before he can unleash his true powers. If you are fond of an isekai with slight romance and an op protagonist where you can't predict what is going to happen because he can't unleash his full potential, then you must give this anime a try. Number 4, The Fruit of Evolution Siki gets ridiculed at school for being overweight. He's a kind adolescent who captured his seniors' hearts. God transports all of their pupils save Siki to another planet to become heroes. God granted Siki a particular skill and sent him to a distant planet so he could get stronger. He gets gorgeous after eating evolution's fruit. He also learns skills by thinking about them. This proves he is an Api Sekai anime MC. This lets him do anything. However, learning a talent dehumanizes him. Less human does not imply physically, emotionally, or cognitively. He seems smarter and stronger than everyone else. This anime's protagonist is a gorilla who became a lovely female. The primary heroine implies romance. MC meets additional love partners with varied attributes as the tale unfolds. If you like isekai anime with a growing op MC and harem, you may like this show. Number 3, In Another World With My Smartphone This isekai is unusual since God accidentally kills the protagonist. Toyomo Chizuki, the op MC of this isekai anime, accepted it as he couldn't do anything about it and couldn't go back to Earth due of the law. Toyo wants to reincarnate using his smartphone. It lets him locate anything, including cuisines from other worlds. God provides him a more durable physique. Since his smartphone runs on magical power, God provides him a lot of it. He finds with Els and Linja, New World Harem, that he is skilled in all six elements, fire, earth, wind, water, light, and dark. It is known that two components are geniuses and three are rare. Toya doesn't have non-elemental magic, often known as null magic. He rapidly develops his own non-elemental magic, gate, to teleport between two areas. He also obtains a book with all the null magic ever documented, basically worthless to everyone. Toya can trigger whatever null magic he knows how to use. Only his personality stops him from subjugating the world. He forgives a deity who killed him in his past existence. Toya acquires his harem because he saves most of them without demanding anything in return. He's also cruel, unaware. The op MC's harem and abilities make this isekai anime generic. His telephone and usage are also unusual. If you want an isekai anime with a techie. Number 2, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. The MC, Sakamoto Takuma is the strongest when it comes to the MMORPG game Cross Reverie. He is using Diablo, Demon Lord, as an avatar. He then gets summoned by two beautiful girls into another world similar to Cross Reverie with his avatar form intact. He also has all the skills and powers of Diablo from the game, his castle, maze, and any other mysterious and powerful matter he made in Cross Reverie are also in that world. Therefore, he knows everything and what needs to be done in every situation. The two girls who summon him to accompany him on his adventure and having both of them around of course means Ichi scenes for the anime. If you want an isekai anime with an op MC who has a lot of knowledge and experience, this series is for you. Number 1, Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. Sato is a game creator who often dreams about being inside the game he is working on. One day, he wakes up in another world and thinks that it is a dream since the features he put for the game's main character are still intact. Well, it is safe to say that it is really the game he is working on but, of course, it is not a dream and he is really in another world. Since the features he put are there, he knows how to use them, naturally making him an overpowered MC. I think it's safe to say that he is in control of everything. The anime is fun to watch because the MC is smart and humble. He is not the dense type op MC that you can typically see in the usual isekai out there. Sato is also caring for all of the humans in that particular world. In reality, he is 30 years old, but in that world, he is 15. He is also popular with girls and it's fun to watch whenever he says I would probably fall for her if I was 15 years younger. He also has a harem but he is not falling for them and he treats them like family, while he sets his eyes on one girl only. If you are fond of an isekai anime where the op MC is very chill despite having a very troublesome but wholesome harem, you should watch this show.